Hello, and welcome to Building Codes for Building Decks, Features and Finishes. Well, we're going to start this course off by talking about some basics about stairs, and then we're going to knock out the few provisions in the IRC for ramps. Now, like any basic discussion, let's start in definitions and just make sure that we've got the terminology nailed down and we know what we're talking about. But we're not going to learn standard English definitions. We need something more specific. So chapter two of all the I codes provides the definitions for terms where it's really critical to the understanding of the code as it's intended. So the first one is really easy. It's stare. And be sure to note that the term here is stare. Now the definition for it is a change in elevation of one or more risers. Well, if you don't know what a riser is, don't be concerned because guess what? We've got a definition and I'm just being sarcastic in a way because I think you guys probably know what a riser is, right? And just for fun, we can see that the definition for riser goes full circle and points us right back over to the stair definition. Okay, not too bad. So looking at the definition of a stair, a stair is any time that there is a change in elevation and that's presumably between two floors. And we note it only takes one riser for a stair to be. So it could also be more risers, right? So what we have here is a stair. And if we look at this photo, we see that we have two stairs, one and two. Now, below the stair definition, there's a definition for stairway. And it starts out by saying that it's one or more flights of stairs. Well, we know what a stair is, but what's a flight of them? Now, I'm not being sarcastic. We are lucky we have a definition to help us with this. We can go to the definition for flight, and let's go ahead and read this one completely. It's a continuous run of rectangular treads or winders or combination thereof from one landing to one other landing. All right, so then a flight is a bunch of treads between landings, and a stair is uh, one or more risers between elevations. Well, I don't know how much this is helping us yet. Okay, let's go back to the picture. So we have a stair of one or more risers, and we have a flight of treads. Okay, so what is a flight of stairs then? Well, all right, if we go to this picture, we had two stairs. So then does this make a flight of stairs? Well, no, that's not it. Remember, because a flight is a passageway between two landings. So what we actually have here are two flights of stairs. Although, I, wouldn't they be a flight of stair? I don't know. You know why this is so messy? Because a lot of these words, flight of stairs, these are regular words, regular people use. And they use words like pair of pants that if you tried to put in the code and make sense of it, you might be right where we are today. So let's go back and look a little more at the definition of stairway. We know it's not the whole thing I showed you because it says that it's one or more flights of stairs and flights are between landings. And then the definition for stairway goes on to say it includes the necessary landings and connecting platforms to create this uninterrupted passage. All right, so let's go back here now. And now let's just forget everything we learned in those definitions, because that did not help. This is two stairs. It's also two flights. It's also two flights of stairs. Done, good. We also have three landings and we have one stairway to form a continuous, pa continuous passageway between floors. Okay, but we aren't done with definitions yet. Nosing is another critical one to understand and it's gonna come up throughout this course. Nosing is defined as the leading edge of treads of stairs and of landings at the top of stairway flights. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot. We got one more thing. So let's go back to our picture again. 
And let's just remind, okay, stairway. We also have two stairway flights here too. All right, chuckle. Now, whatever you want to call those things, you got a lot of choices to call them. We walk up them and these are the nosings of them, the leading edges. Okay. Uh, now, when we went back and we look, let's look one more time at this definitions for flight. I know I thought we were done with this, but if we see flight, we also see this other term in here, winders. So guess what we have for winder? That's right. It's defined too. And a winder is defined as a tread with non-parallel edges, which I think is the nosing, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so here's an example of winders with non-parallel nosing, right? Got it. And what about these? These have non-parallel edges, nosings, but this isn't winders because you know what those are. Those are spiral stairs. And spiral stairs have a nice fancy definition that I'm not going to read you. You know why? Because you know what spiral stairs are. And if you have to ask if something is a spiral stair, then it's not. Okay, now with that, we are finally done with these definitions, and we're going to move on and start talking about stairs.